everybody, I'm Girl Fieri, and we're rolling out looking for America's greatest midnight munchies and more. This trip, we're meeting up with a funky couple serving up real deal vegan comfort food. That's all right here, right now on Triple M. Do you struggle with correct measurements? Do you struggle with so many little containers of how to measure how much what? Do you struggle with burning and unfortunate accidents? Well, struggle no more, especially when it's vegan and gluten-free. Because I have 46 vegan and gluten-free recipes and secret recipes from a vegan bakery. I'm here in Flavortown, USA at a vegan joint that's putting a new spin on barbecue with a righteous taste. Owner, chef, and local legend Therese Dene is making Guy Fieri's garlic tortilla cake. Thank you to Jahara for donating for this dynamite recipe. If you want to help support this channel too, you can donate via PayPal to Midnight Munchies and More at Yahoo.com. We have four bulbs of garlic or four heads of garlic. And what I did was I cut off just the top so those little garlic bits inside can be exposed. And then we're gonna take some EVLO, some extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna drizzle this bad boy up. And I'm doing this on aluminum foil because then we're gonna wrap her up all the way nice and tightly. I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna pop her in there on this sheet just in case she got a little leakers. Our girl might got a little leakers, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna let these roast for about an hour until they're lightly browned. I have about four and a half to five cups worth of finely chopped red onions. So it was about three large onions. I mean, just use as many onions as you want, but it's gotta be a fuck ton. So <laughs> I'm gonna add some vegetable oil to that, probably about half of a cup. We're gonna get them all coated and we're gonna pop her on the stove uh, about medium heat and we're gonna let her just start cooking for about five minutes. And But we don't want them to get too brown yet. Our onions are a lot softer. We've got some of the juices happening down on the bottom. So now we're going to add about three tablespoons of vegan butter and two tablespoons of coconut sugar. And we're gonna mix this all together. And we're gonna put her back on the stove and let her hang out and caramelize. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. You have to be patient, but we're waiting on the garlic anyways. Go ahead and start flipping your laundry around. <laughs> but you wanna keep an eye on it. You do wanna like stir it every now and then so it doesn't like get stuck to the bottom and you get everything heated and caramelized beautifully. We still have a little bit of grease left from our caramelized onions, which I don't understand because Guy's original recipe said one cup and I cut it down by half and I still had to strain some out. So like if it's too greasy for you, then like just strain her out at the end. Uh, and then I'm going to add a half a cup of vegan mayonnaise. This is my homemade vegan mayonnaise using the brine from a can of chickpeas, which I highly recommend because like what else are you going to do with the brine and way cheaper. And then to that, I'm going to add about a half a cup of Follow Your Heart's Vegan Parmesan. I love their vegan Parmesan, like, so hard. That's probably more than half a cup, but, like, <laughs> you can't go wrong with vegan parm. Now that our garlic is nice and brown and soft and roasty toasty, we're going to take each one and just squeeze it out of its skin like a soa. Super easy. Oh, my God, who is she? Just squeeze her right out. Then we're just gonna mix her all up in here and then we're gonna cover it up and pop it in the fridge for at least a half of an hour so all the flavors can marry and it can get more firm. Our mixture has cooled down and it's gotten a little bit thicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save about a third of this and put it back in the fridge and we're gonna use that to make a little dipping sauce. Now you need a 12 tortillas, large burrito size. We're going to take a little bit of our stuff and we're going to start smoothing it around on the whole thing. And then I'm going to put another one on top, smooth some more on, put another one on top, smooth some more on, put another one on top, smooth some more on, till we use all of our tortillas. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is another time. Guy Fieri Food Network lied to me. I only needed nine tortillas and they're super thin layers. Like, I added more mayonnaise than he did and I, 
I don't know. I feel like the measurements are all off on this shit. So we're going to wrap this all the way up in saran wrap and let it hang out in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. This is what we have left over from the filling that we're going to turn into a dip for our garlic onion tortilla cake. Now, as you can see, it's a lot less than I originally put in there because I started running out. So I think in the future, if I were to make this again, I'd add some vegan cream cheese to the mixture to give it another depth of flavor and then like make it yield more. You know what I'm saying? So the original recipe said two tablespoons, but clearly we're not going to need that much. We're probably only going to need one tablespoon until it gets nice and thin uh, like a dip. It's officially the next day. Hi, wonder of YouTube editing. So now he says to cut it in 16 parts. I don't know. We'll see because I feel like 16 pieces is a little too small. So let's get her going. Okay, so I was able to get 16 after all. The little small pieces like a soa and we're going to grill these on each side. He said each side and I was like, like all sides <laughs> like even this little side but then the picture just showed like grill marks on this side and this side so i guess wherever the filling is coming out that's where you grill like i don't fucking know it wasn't very specific yo man look at that oh my god that is spot on funkalicious so let's try them straight up i can't get over my beer mm-hmm mm. Mm -hmm. that's different than the depth Oh no, my beard. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Whoa. That is funkalicious. You got that onion and the garlic. Mmm. Grilled up all them grill marks. Look at that. That balsamic brings some acid. That's spot on, man. That's spot on. That's spot on. Was this a righteous road trip or what? But don't worry, there are plenty more recipes in need of being vegan. So I'll catch you next week on Midnight Munchies and more. Oh, good night kisses, Wally wishes and reminiscences. His eyes kissing Wally wish for the full moon above. Oh, I will read up, passionate love, listening closely for position in my intuition for her nutrition and ambition, nutrition and ambition. Get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up.